So, are they making the frogs gay? I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. Do you understand that? Now, Alex is obviously very pissed off from that clip, and he feels like there's a lot of pollutants and things causing the frogs to become gay and things that could potentially affect humans. Now, I realize this is quite an old clip, but I thought it'd still be very interesting to look into. And I found a meta-analysis which looks at multiple studies and it focuses in on atrazine or atrazine and how it affects fish and amphibians. Now, I believe this is kind of what he was referencing, the atrazine. It's a herbicide and it's quite a common one. I believe it's the second most used one in the US and it seems to be having the side effects on frogs and fish at relatively low levels. Now, one thing it seems to be doing is it seems to be accelerating or delaying metamorphosis. So I guess this could be a problem in terms of development. The frogs might be developing too early and, you know, they might not be as strong as they should be or as well developed. And they also seem to have reduced size at or near metamorphism. So I suppose that is maybe a sign of like stunted de uh, development. And again, I'm just speculating here. This is what the study states. So kind of just inferring from what's read. Now, next, they have reduced anti-predator behaviors. This is obviously not ideal for survival. And I guess if you wanted to extrapolate to humans, you could say they could be more docile. But again, this is on frogs and fish. I don't know how it's going to affect humans. So I can't really state that, but at least in the you know, at least in the fish, the amphibians, they're going to have a lower survival rate, I guess, because of that. They also have reduced olfactory abilities for fish. So the fish aren't going to be able to smell as well. And another kind of messed up thing is the reduced immune function. And it also led to increase in infection, which, you know, is, I, I don't really need to explain why that's bad. And now, the last bit, which is kind of focusing on, I guess, the gay aspect, which Alex was talking about, atrazine altered at least one aspect of the gonad's mor morphology, and it also affected gonadal function, altering spermatogenesis. Now, this is, I think this is what he was talking about, because I, I also looked at another study briefly. Well, the first study said there's a relatively low level that causes this, which I guess is a problem. And two, it seems to feminize frogs and it can change their it can change their gonads and their appearance and their actual shape and sometimes they can have multiple of it is really fucking them up so yeah it's not optimal it is kind of feminizing them i guess if he wants to say <laughs> i guess if he wants to say they're going gay i mean i guess it's not like crazy wrong um yeah so it it kind of is true like it's kind of fucked up i will reference the study down below i think some measures were kind of put in place to reduce the damage of this i read i uh, researched it quickly but it seems like it's still used apparently it's the second most used herbicide in the us and yeah it's kind of crazy because people are actually eating this consuming it you know i don't know you know i can't go beyond that just because this is what the study is saying but yeah, I guess they, yeah, kind of maybe are making the frogs gay. Anyway, thanks for watching and I appreciate it.